with what would have been Miami Music Week 2020 coming to an end, despite the fact that everything is canceled and there will be no amazing events this year, I thought it would still be a good time to update everybody on my camera collection and any new additions and improvements that I've made. As you can see, the collection has grown, but there's still a lot of the familiar faces that were here in the last video. We still have my three main Canon SLRs. We have the EOS R, the EOS 620, and the EOS 80D. Those are still my primary SLRs that I'd be using on a daily basis. And aside from the lenses that I showed last time, I'm also rocking with a Sigma 35 and a Canon 70-200 when necessary. We also still have my trusty Polaroid. We have my Kodak Star 835 and the Lomography Fisheye, which I also be using all three. Aside from the familiar faces we had last time, as you can see here and here, we have several new cameras. So let me take out the old ones and show you guys just the new stuff. So here are the five new cameras that I purchased in the year that I made the last video. On average, I'd say I've had each of these cameras about nine months. So first we have the Olympus XA. This is actually the XA1. It's a rangefinder and you focus right here with this at the bottom. It's a really nice, small, compact camera and I have the flash with it as well. Obviously, if you don't have the flash on it, it becomes a much smaller and more compact camera, which is perfect for everyday use and travel. Next, we have the Nishika N8000. As you can see, this is a 3D camera and it takes 35 millimeter film. This is a really cool and really fun camera and I also have the flash with it, which at the moment isn't working, but this is an amazing camera and I really like taking pictures of my friends with it. You obviously don't get as many exposures in a roll because you're shooting four photos at once, but the images that you get are on film and the results are really cool once you animate them into GIFs. Next, we have the Argus M5700D. This is a, another film camera and it's, as you can see, it has a power zoom on it and a date back. I found this one at a thrift store and as you can see, the lens extends all the way up to, I believe, 135 millimeters. So this is a really cool, really fun camera. It's got that date on the back. It's got a bunch of modes. It's got some cool features. So really sweet pickup that I picked up at the thrift. Next up, we have the Olympus Stylus. This is a classic film camera, 35 millimeter. As you can see, it's pretty easy to use. It has a customizable mode setting. Um, it's a 3.5 lens and it's a very sharp lens with the autofocus. Sometimes the autofocus isn't perfect, but all around, this is a great camera to just stick in your pocket and take with you anywhere. It's really, really small. It fits in the palm of your hand and the photos that you get are really good on this one. Last, we've got probably my favorite camera that I purchased this year. It's my Yashica T4. As you can see, you have that beautiful Zeiss lens F3.5 and it has all your flash settings that you want. It's really easy to just point, shoot, and take pictures. The only problem is that I purchased this camera basically mint and I knocked out the little plastic part that came here. So I need to get another new little plastic part to fix it, but until then I'm keeping it really safe. These cameras are plastic, but they're built like tanks and these guys can take a bunch of abuse. So I use this camera just about every day and it takes amazing photos. It's basically my favorite film camera and a camera that I carry with me just about everywhere. I hope everybody enjoyed seeing all the different cameras I have. Please stay inside, stay healthy, and hopefully everybody will be going back to taking pictures soon. Hopefully this camera collection will expand in future years, but here is the 2020 edition. I hope you have also all been inspired to share your collections as well. And if anybody's got this little plastic front part for a Shika T4 or any cameras that they think I'd be interested in, let me know. Send me a message.